in this chapter, we'll add value to the application we've built thus far. What we're going to do is adding a checkbox. So you can see it here. Je parle français, which is I speak French. If you click on it, then uh, my answer in the button is now in French. And if I unclick, it's going back to English. So it's going to be Hello Joshua or Salut Joshua. So let's go in the main.xml and let's see the changes I made. Yes, the changes I already made. This means uh, you're not going to uh, watch me coding, but instead uh, I will explain the the changes are already made so that we save some time. So in this layout, I just added a liner layout including the button and the checkbox. So that's what you can see right here, the linear layout. Of course it's an horizontal linear layout. And so in this linear layout you see the button and uh, the checkbox, those two items. So I'm just indenting the code uh, so that it's uh, easier to read. So the linear layout, uh, of course, its layout width will be fill parent. I didn't change anything in the button and I've added this checkbox. Uh, width and height is going to be wrap content. I've created, of course, an ID for this button, which is I speak French. The text is Je parle français, which is I speak French. By default, this checkbox is not checked. And I change the text size, text size to five points. So you saw that without uh, the five points, the results were not that pretty. I'm saving. And uh, that is for the changes in the layout. Now let's check the Java code. And this is simply what I've added. So, first, I've uh, defined a checkbox item, which I called I speak French. I've extracted this object from my layout with find view ID with the name r.id.ispeakfrench. Then I've created a listener that you can see right here, equals onclick listener. And I assigned it to my checkbox with set on click listener. So when I will receive a click on this checkbox, whether it is to check it or to uncheck it, this listener will run at the following code. So the method is on click, and the, the the object on which the click happened will be view. But I know that this object is more than a view. It's a, a checkbox object. So I've created v2 and um, I, I've just casted v into v2 with then providing the, the object checkbox. Now I will have to check the state of this checkbox. So I'm going to use this method is checked and if it is checked then I will change the content of my button and it's going to be Salut Joshua if it is checked and if not I will go back to the English version which is Hello Joshua and now just going to try to make sure Joshua is going to answer in our own language so let's go up a little bit and let's check the my button listener so here, and we're going to say if I speak French, is checked. Well, in this case, we'll do something. If not, we'll do something else, which is answering in, in uh, English. 
which is uh, already what I had, so I do not change that. I keep that here. And uh, so here, in the then case, we're gonna we're going to answer in French, which with Joshua réponse instead of Joshua answer. And uh, see, I already I've already added the Joshua réponse here. Uh, would you like to play a game of chess? In French, will be voulez-vous jouer à une petite partie d'échec? And here, see, since there is a quote, I need uh, to backslash it. If I don't, I'm going to have an error in my XML file. So let's now uh, see what the, un the EDI has to say. And uh, here it's saying that I'm using I speak English, which is defined uh, after. So I'm going to take that out from here. Okay, so I just uh, cut it. And I'm going to create it. Okay, maybe here. But I would better do that here. Just because, see, in my code I'm using my button. And uh, my button is defined by this final button, my button equal blah blah blah. So I would have had a, another issue. So another error. Error. Let's check it. And uh, we can see that uh, this environment, this development environment, is very clever because I misspelled I speak French, and it's trying just to fix my English. See, I had an extra C, and uh, the environment is uh, smart, smart enough to see that. I did that and is proposing me to fix it with the right variable name, which is okay. So that's uh, that being fixed. Now I can save it. No more errors. I will uh, try to run this apply this application. And let's see what it's doing. So, hello Joshua, in English, I have the answer in English. Now, in French, and I have, uh, this, voulez-vous jouer une petite partie d'échec? Going back to English, still working well. Well, c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's it for this chapter, and I'll see you in the next one.